Hey everybody, standing ovation here again with another break. I got two more boxes of hockey cards. I got Stature and I got Skybox, as you can see in front of you. The two boxes that have come out, well, I guess there was Black Diamond was between the two of them. I don't have one to squish in there. Um, but I thought I'd compare these two because they are at the point, the point I'm making this, the exact same price. And they are completely different. Both being boxes of hockey cards, hobby boxes. Uh, they are the, the complete opposite ends of the spectrum for what Upper Deck brings you in a product. A one-pack box with eight cards in it, guaranteed autograph hit. A 15-pack box with uh, five cards per seven cards per pack, but no guaranteed autograph hits, uh, and just inserts and parallels of inserts and rookies. But the whole base set is kind of pointless because it's all about the chase cards that are, you know, there's, I don't know how many different now. I've lost my little notes that I made. I had a little note thing made up but i already broke a box of this and I, I briefly discussed it perhaps you'll get more facts off other people because i'm never a good source for facts but it is all over the website cardboard connections is the best place that's usually where i look things up um but yeah the stuff inside here that draws everybody at least for me are the jambalayas and the pmgs i don't i'd like say i'm not such a pmg collector but there's all kinds of things like metal x and hardware heroes i think they're called i don't know but they make them like pretty darn rare you want to say pretty darn rare um i don't want to show off all the hits from my last box but the uh the, a new one one of the new ones lynch pins um those are one in 300 but there's a number of different subsets and inserts that um kind of have appeal if you're chasing every insert or card a guy has but uh on the other end you got stature who is what is um no redemption cards always a hard sign card in a box and uh, you're going to get um Base cards, two of them, uh, numbered rookies, one of them, and then parallels of everything else with photo variants and design variants and design photo variants. And then one in every case has a patch autograph per box, but, or, uh, yeah, one case. I think it's just one per case. Anyway, I'm accused of talking too much at times, which I do not deny. So I'm just looking for my, my knife to open the box to start the break. And I've lost my knife. Hold on one second. And then I'm back. I found my knife. But um, there's some information. Oops, let's get it without the reflection. I'm going to rip the skybox first. As I, as I say, this actually just came out yesterday. And as I say, I did open up one other box. So check out all my other videos. Tap the like button if you don't mind. It helps me grow this channel, support the channel. Subscribe if you want to watch me break other stuff in the near future. I'm going to be breaking what's next i i don't even know what's coming up i got another box of stature that i put up against the black diamond box but that's probably already gone up i don't know i've made a few videos in advance and uh here we go struggling to find the seal and we're opening yeah and then um as i say i i do want to draw your attention if you're ever on ebay go check me out there because I do sell stuff up on there quite frequently, and uh, a lot of this stuff you'll eventually see up there, uh, whether it's tonight, tomorrow, or next week. I try not to list it before I've posted the video, but sometimes that happens too. So just keep watching me on eBay as much as you're following me on YouTube. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'll leave that statue sitting there. Again, this is a good comparison because, as I say, the price point is the same. They're about 170, 175, 180 bucks Canadian, depending on who and where you're at. Stature is getting harder to find. Um, Skybox just came out. I think that eventually time will tell. This is overpriced. This might even appreciate in value a little bit because if you think about it, think about it. Um, you sit on a box of this five years from now, you can open it up. You're not going to get a redemption card then either. A lot of upper deck stuff that has hard signed cards. You got to. Redemption that'll just, you know, really frustrate you to no end when you open it up five years from now or ten years from now. And you got to go in some raffle or something to get the card. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I think this product has some more popularity too. The design of this card, the base cards and the sets, I think population or the popular consensus is, oh, look, we're going to just leave that one because I hate to be that guy. But uh, let's just carry on with that sentence the design's not as popular as some of the other years um i don't know then and the jury's out on a lot of the inserts some of the inserts are kind of bizarre they got some weird names i'm, I'm kind of getting it with uh you know where they're coming to like jarring you know a jarring hit it's not highlighting guys that like making jelly um bottle rockets right if you 
slap shot hits the net, the bottle goes flying off the top of the net. So they're kind of like sniper subset. Anyway, let's carry on with what I was about to do with pack number two. But if you didn't notice what I was doing, there's color in there. There's color. Look at the colors. Kreji. Iskinen. And here's one of the aforementioned bottle rockets. You can hit the net with that puck pretty good and phew, off the thing goes. At first, you just think of bottle rockets, which are a lot of fun too. Oh, who doesn't like a good bottle rocket? Ante Kopitar. Jordan Spence. The two SPs per pack, which one per pack aren't really SPs, but technically single print and a short print no they're just one per pack Duchesne and O'Reilly I think what I thought about this my opinion is that they should have made the set bigger if you're going to make cards that people don't appreciate make more of them maybe people appreciate them more no, I don't know it's just the set is so repetitive if all the packs are getting busted just for a very few amount of inserts you're going to end up with tons of base cards and tons of inserts that really you know whatever they're fun to open though that's that's the truth jamie ben tage thompson but it's just it's so hard to see that name in there Here we go crosby aspects and i'm assuming that's pittsburgh in there but yeah and um just one of those designs that'll maybe grow on you because right off the bat it's i don't know but i've heard other people really like that design so beauties in the eye of I don't know. Everybody has an opinion. Yeah, that's that's more appropriate. Jack Hughes, stars. Rookie, you have Trey Fix, Walensky, and Baxter and Strong. I'm going to bring those back two cards to the front of the pack. Then you've got all the base, and then the fun begins. Shane Goss to spare. Jack Campbell. Timmy Stutzel. Cole Sillinger. These are the premium prospects. Mike Mitchell Schaff, Chaffee. These are, you're supposed to get three per box, I think it says, of these. Same with the retros, three per box. There's line A, stars, and a rookie of Marco Rossi. I can see over time, these would be like, you know, victory rookie cards are. Like, nobody really, it'd be the last thing you'd put in your collection. Or the first, I guess, if you're a little kid. Because they won't be worth a whole lot, is what I'm trying to say. Won't hurt your budget too much, I guess, to build a set of this. Nikolai Ehlers, Troy Krug, Fix Wolanski again, the retro card. There's a Stars Jake Gensel. Apparently he's out for, I don't know, for the whole season, but he's got some major surgery going on. Pavel Regenda, Slovakian superstar. Phil Kessel, is that his last card? Aaron Ekblad. I mean, I'm sure they'll make more Phil Kessel cards, but I don't know if he got onto a team this year or not. I haven't been following him. You know, he was had the cup somewhere. Probably put a hot dog in it or two. What happened there? Okay, here we go. Whoops, I just ruined it. Well, okay, let's look at the number one draft pick from last year, Slavkovsky. He comes out of the pack pretty, pretty quick. Well, I was going for the base to put them on top. You know what, I've got them all ready to go here. Let's start using some of these penny sleeves. Up until now, <clears throat> let's just say none of these hits have been really penny sleeve worthy, let alone stand worthy. There we go. Okay, let's finish this pack. Got Stammer, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Charlie McAvoy, Seth Jarvis. Here's the flash of the glove. Connor Hellebuck and Stars SP of McDavid. That's a pretty good pack if you think the two SPs. I got the best player in the world with the number one draft pick last year for a rookie. The Connor Hellebuck. Again, everybody was saying last year that, oh, he's not coming back. But I haven't heard them that he's been signed anywhere else. So I don't know why, I guess. I penny sleeve that just because it's kind of eye appealing. But again, these are one of the more common inserts. that are going to be a dime a dozen and all that retail gets ripped open which i already see is out i think they released it on the same day because i saw somebody's video hitting up a walmart somewhere i think they were in california or texas i don't know but um yeah actually i think it was in texas and they had the retail blasters of this on the shelf on release day there's logan thompson johnny gibson 
and Eric Carlson. One more base card, Jared McCann. Here's the other bottle rocket, Bjorkstrand, Oliver Bjorkstrand. We had a Stars of Pasternak and a Rookie of No Cates. Falling off. Here we go. Shifley. Followed up with Jonathan Quick, Ranton, and Sagan. With the other one of the Flash of the Gloves. Quit flashing me. Oh, gosh. Thatcher Demko. There's a Ovechkin Stars with Caden Gould, Rookies. All right. Let's go Bjorkstrand. Sean Jersey. Okay, here's one of the Tetrads. Max Pacioretty, kind of an odd player to get at this point in his career. I guess he was a captain of the Habs. These are a rare, rare, rare hit. Rare, rare. Again, because I don't have the stats behind me, I know I'm going to struggle if I try to read the pack. But it's Austin Matthews Stars, rookie of Jurczyk, Felino and Lindholm. Let's go back and review the Tetrad. Again, I don't know if I'm going to do well with this because die cuts. Oh, yeah, no, definitely going to have to slit the corner of that one. There, I get it on screen there. Patch ready, the Tetrads. There we go. We might have seen most of the meat out of this box, but let's go and finish our rip here and see what else shows up. We got it. Base at the back. Whoops, no, I did it again. I busted into Jack McBain. McBain. Rookie card. Here comes the base. McTavish. Taylor Hall. Bunting. And Schmaltz. The premium prospects of Dylan Samberg. Got Dry's Idol Stars. Okay. What do you got left here? We got. This is like the third. Third of the box. Third stack of five. Johnny Carlson. Let's see if I can do a proper this time. There we go. Dougie Hamilton. Erickson Eck. John Carlson. Sergey Mabrovsky. And here's another retro. Dylan Gunther. We got Timo Meyer with the stars. And Braden Schneider. Son of Matthew Schneider. The New York Rangers rookie. Okay. And then Seeing the backs of these cards, I never really did show you a whole lot of. Got a few years of stats there, a little caption below it with some basic stats. Markstrom, oh, home, the house. That was hard to save the reveal, but I got a Kopitar, the house. These are 1 in 25 of the acetates. Those are the easiest ones. Okay, well, there's the Forsberg, Markstrom. Suzuki stars with the rookie of Blankenberg. Pavelski and Robert Thomas. So the house. The house. Yeah, one for 25. They're not going to be that rare that there's a whole lot of value there, but they're pretty. They're pretty looking. Shiny on one part, see through on the other. Natchez. Carter Hart. Victor Olofsson and Braden Point. And the other prospect, this time I got some power. Oh, and power. The stars of Vladdy with the Blues, no longer. Now an Ottawa Senator, and quite happily. And Dylan Gunther, the rookie. Two more. Two more before the ruby reveal. Or is it a ruby, or is it just a red? Precious metals, gems, ruby, right? It, or just the red parallel. Morgan Riley. Here we dock. Here we go. It's going to be jarring. Get ready for the big hit. Boom! Brett Burns. You know what would be cool is if they actually made a subset of all the times guys got hit where they actually got put through the glass and put that picture on there. Of course, I don't know. That'd probably be illegal to make that kind of card now with all the rules they got. It's crazy. Elias Peterson. 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 Ronnie Atard. 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 I don't know. I need my MVP old school cards. JT Miller and Jesper Brad. My enunciation. 
the times I feel like I'm breaking another CHL box. Man, talk about me butchering hockey names in that one. Might as well just give me a soccer box. I'll just go for it though. Eh? I just I don't care. I'll just apologies to the player. I'm trudging right through your name, even if it's hard to say. Dylan Larkin. Clayton Keller. Yeah, retro, Jack Quinn. One retro on me. And there's the stars. MVP of years gone by. But now he's just skating around with no team, I guess. Jonathan Taves and Mark Kostelik. William Nylander and Bo Horvat. Here we go. The product reveal. Everybody chases these PMGs. I should be more excited because it's a PMG and they're hard to hit. And I'm actually two for two. So, Wrensky and Terry. We'll get rid of you guys. A couple of bases at the back. We don't need Tavares. We don't say that to him, though. John, we need you. Mika Zabanajad. Stars of Panarin, the bread man, with the rookie of Jonathan Bergren, or Jonathan Bergren. And we got, let's just do it quick, whoosh, Backstrom. Well, there's a guy we haven't seen a card of for a while. At least I haven't, since I think Artifacts, I pulled a parallel of him. Well, I like the first guy I hit better, but I'm glad he even hit one at all. Number 43 of 100, Nicholas Backstrom, Washington Capitals, and... Long time wingman of your guy. Hey, oh, get in there. Get in there. Here we go. Get another stand out and get ready for some stature fun. Because, again, I, 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 you know, my stature ripping has been fun, as they say, but it hasn't been super profitable. I haven't hit the, you know, the, the one of one so and so or the. But I, I have hit some nice cards, and I must say, they sell quite quickly. I noticed that, too. Certain players are quite popular, depending on who you get. But anyway, let's just stop Billy dallying here. Do a quick tidy up. Okay, let's do this. One more time with the stature. This is like, likely the last of both of these I'm going to rip until something else comes along, or unless I get really bored and I'll do it again. But I've got a couple of videos made up in advance now, and we'll see... Probably by the time I've run out of videos, there'll be a new product out. Next Wednesday, there's nothing planned as far as I know, and I'm really not sure what is next. Series 1 won't be out for a while. Still uncertain whether he's, he being Bedard, is going to be in Series 1, or is he going to be a Young Guns canvas in Series 1? But you know he's going to be in both series. Everybody's speculating. They can't miss the opportunity to have him in both Series 1 and Series 2. So... Let's do this with the stature. The stature will begin with the two base cards on the top. Provided these aren't short cards. I've had a bit of an issue with upper deck. Some of my higher end rips missing cards. I have been in touch with them. And through some difficulty as usual, I encountered somebody at QA who thinks antagonizing the customers is fun to do through the email. But they did uh, start the process of getting a couple cards sent to me from upper deck. Well, uh, they do got to work on their QA. Holy cow. They're, I mean, their customer service. QA is pretty good when you do reach out to them, but their customer service people are obviously young and inexperienced. But we'll just leave it at that. At Copper Deck, you got some work to do with your on your administrative side. Anyway, let's put these down and stop touching them and pull them out one at a time. We go out. Let's just do both base, both base cards right off the start. I think this happened once before. I started with a Nathan McKinnon and an Artemi Panarin. Okay, well, that's showing me good signs that it's probably time I stopped ripping stature as I've just hit my first two duplicates. They're base card duplicates, so let's see what happens beyond here. It'd be really cool to pull one of those Suzuki variants at this point because those are redeemable for your Caulfield autograph. Now, Caulfield is in this product. He's just not an autograph. I think in some of my other videos I was saying Caulfield's not even in here. Here's Lane Peterson. 130 point sleeves are what I use for these usually. And, you know, sometimes you can get away with the thin ones, but it just saves time to load them up as I throw the card down. Um, yeah. And again, with the 75 point top loaders, they fit in there nice. Nice and good like. Okay, there's our first numbered rookie. Green parallel. Dinesenko. 
Florida Panthers, Grigori Denisenko. Grigori. Four down, four to go. Dry title, numbered 75. Cool. Not super rare. Good player. I just sold a sack of, of, of this, numbered it as 75. I believe that went for about 20, 30 bucks. I don't know, 20 plus the shipping. Okay, is this the auto? No, I got one more. I'm going to do the very bottom card. Pull a little bit of trick off here because it's generally the rookie. Okay, oh, hey, cool. That's a good bottom card. Gretzky, because generally they're not a huge card on the bottom. That's about as good of a guy you can get for a bottom card. He's worthy. He's worthy of a stand. Okay, one more before the auto. And we got, oh, okay, it's the Rookie Excellence Blue Parallel of David Ferrance. I don't know, it's like putting lipstick on a peg. You can dress it all up, but it's still a defenseman from the, one of the least collected teams in all of the hobby, David Ferrance. A little bit, a little bit of a letdown. Hopefully, with any luck, it's a good autograph. Let's not get too excited, but let's not be too let down either. Samuelson, Sabres. Rookie auto to 199 Just the base rookie. Well, there you go. There's a box of stature and a box of Skybox. Metal Universe. Most of the new product Upper Deck gets put out, which isn't new. Gets reduced in price within a month or so of the release. But stature, as I say, I found it a little harder to find. But don't know what's coming up next for hockey. As I said, I, I'm, I'm anxious myself to know what's next. And I got a couple things that could break in the meantime. But we'll see. Keep on collecting, everybody. Hope you're all well out there. Standing ovation out.